Hello everyone. Well, today in this little square box is a little round vacuum cleaner that I've wanted to get my hands on for a long, long time. They are pretty hard to come by. In fact, I think this is the first one I've seen on eBay for quite some time. I did have one myself. In fact, I had two of these and foolishly, I sold it. I can't believe it, but anyway, I sold the other Galaxy I had, but I've managed to get another one. It's not the one I would have wanted. This is the base model. I would have preferred the automatic cord rewind version, but to be honest, any Galaxy, did I say it's a Hoover Galaxy? Well, it is, as you know from the title. Any Hoover Galaxy that pops up on eBay, well, I had to have it. This is, uh, this is not correct, and I'll show you why it's not correct, but I'm going to make steps, hopefully, to make this more original, because it does have some replacement bits on it, mainly in the tools. But they are, I think, genuine Hoover replacements. Right, come on. I did ask the seller nicely if we would ensure that um, it's wrapped up well. So let's see if the seller has wrapped it up well. No, not well enough. Anyway, it'll do. I did ask him specifically to wrap the translucent hood so it doesn't get scratched. Um, I don't think it has been scratched in transit, but it's not how I would have packed it if I was selling this very rare vacuum. These were made, introduced in the 1990s. I think, I think it was 1990. These first made an appearance. Could have been 89, actually. Hmm, 89 or 90. They were made in the Dijon factory in France. We got, well, I only know of two official models that were in brochures, this model, the base model, and the Autoflex model, but there was a model with electronic control. There were also, a, the latest model, I think was yellow, and it was branded Constellation, but it was a Galaxy, but they rebranded it. And there were models available in Europe that possibly had a power head because there is space for a power takeoff socket. Now these are brand new. These would not have been supplied with the Galaxy, certainly not in this country. These are genuine Hoover pipes. Now the seller said that the original owner brought these this in because the tubes had broken and just wanted replacement tubes and they never collected the cleaner. So the seller um, has a shop, I believe, and he's getting rid of some of these cleaners that were never picked up. It's been quite a long time since he's had this, so I don't think the person is going to want them now. These are original Hoover tubes, and these will do very well with another vacuum. Now, I do want to keep this original, so I think I've got an original hose and tubes that will fit this. In fact, they're the same as the Hoover Ariane, and I've got some Ariane tools, so I'm thinking that I might be able to use them on this. These are better than the plastic ones provided, but in a collection, I want this to be as original as possible. But I certainly have some machines that would benefit from these tubes. Sensortronics mainly, I think. This, a bit dirty. Again, it is a Hoover, and it might be okay for another cleaner in my collection but this model was supplied with the Hoover contour head which I do have a brand new version of so I will be using that with this the contour head is better than this this is a standard twin pedal it never came as far as I know it was never illustrated in the Hoover brochures with this nozzle so that's wrong but I knew it was wrong from the picture this hose again is is not correct for this machine. This is a Hoover compact hose and it looks genuine. Let me see if I can see the Hoover roundel. It's got the Hoover roundel. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's the roundel just embossed there. So this, with this end, is for Hoover compact. The Galaxy, as far as I know, never came with this style hand grip. It came with the 
trigger hand grip, it's um, the same as the Aria, the same as the Ariane, um, and the t early Telios cleaners. It was a thinner handle and it had that little trigger to reduce the suction that you had to keep your finger on to keep it open to release the, the, the suction. I've got, pretty sure I've got one of those spare. If not, I can certainly get the correct hose for that machine. This fits, it's the right, right uh, connector, but as I said, this is for a Hoover Compact, as is that uh, nozzle really. This is not again the nozzle supplied because this has now been fitted with the Hoover pip fitting and, and the lock ring system. It would have had taper push fit tools on this machine. So hopefully they're all going to be correct, but I have actually placed an order with Hoover to order the three tools. I'm not sure if this actually came with three though. I don't know if it's just this or the deluxe model, but I have ordered three push fit tools that do look the same as this would have been supplied with. I've ordered two wands, although they are metal. This would have had plastic wands back in the day. But anyway, these will not go to waste. I'm sure I've got a cleaner that's lacking that particular furniture nozzle. It's very light. Right, this, I don't know if there's anything underneath here. It's just packaging. Oh. Oh, there's another, that's good. I could possibly, I think I've got, I'm needing one of those for another cleaner as well. Uh, again, that's crevice tool, pip fitting, but this would have not had the pip fitting tool. No dusting brush. Okay, it's a little bit grubby. But it's not broken. Let's have a closer look at this Hoover Galaxy. Well, here she is out of the box after a quick wipe down and a polish, mainly because I didn't want to get my hands filthy handling her various particles. Now, she's in okay condition. She's not fantastic, but she's in okay condition. And to you looking at it on YouTube, she probably looks in very good condition. She does look a little bit better, a little bit shinier after I wiped it over, but it's going to need a dismantle and a proper clean out internally as well as I'll show you. It's a bit dirty. As long as the motor sounds fine, it'll be okay. It's not as if I haven't had one of these apart, but it is many, many years since I've seen the inside of a Hoover Galaxy. I might show you the inside if I do a little refurb, but hopefully it will just be a cosmetic refurb needed. She does look better though. I just used some tea cut. That seems to be my favorite thing at the moment. I don't know why I stopped using it because I seem to remember using tea cut years and years ago to restore vacuum cleaners. Always be careful when using it on highly polished surfaces and just test it first. But I did use it on the hood, the most delicate part of this cleaner, but I started using it on the inside and it was fine. So I did use it on the outside. I was careful around the graphics where it says Hoover Galaxy. The Hoover logo on here is already a little bit um, worse for wear. There's nothing I can do about that. The Galaxy part isn't too bad. So there is some little spatters of paint that need to be removed. Although I'm going to pretend for the moment it's stars in the Galaxy. Now obviously when Hoover brought to this clean out, cleaner out when they designed it. Perhaps they were thinking of the Constellation because I'd say it's a similar, I'll have to get a Constellation out and compare one day, but it's a similar sort of size to the Constellation. I would say, yes, it's about the same footprint, but of course, without uh, the Constellation's float on air feature, this one just has regular one, two, three, four, five caster wheels can you imagine what a floating version of this would be like? Fantastic. It really would go with a the theme, Galaxy. So the Galaxy, this is the base model. Let's have a look at the model number and the rating plate underneath here. So it's a Hoover model S3850 made in France. Trademarks of Hoover PLC, 50 hertz, 900 watts, 240 volts. The serial number is 
Uh, I'm not sure if that means this is a 1991 model. It could be. And yes, it's a 900 watt machine. And I know that the model above this was a thousand watts, but I don't think it makes much of a difference in the suction power. I believe they use the same motors as the French made Hoover compacts of the time. So we'll show you around the machine. This is the built in carry handle. It's got the Hoover roundel embossed. And for this basic model, we've just got a single pink rocker switch. The model up from this had automatic cord rewind, but on the control panel, I'm trying to remember how it was. I believe the model above this, which I did own as well, the switch was slightly off center and then it also had a bag check indicator. It also had, which is a shame this one doesn't, had automatic cord rewind. Now where you see this hook here, the hook wouldn't have been on the, the upper model. It would have been a little pedal that you'd press with your foot to retract the cord into this area here. But instead of that, we have just a sort of a hook there and it's supposed to coil the flex around. And again, I've uh, just given the flex a bit of a wipe with a micro fiber wipe thing. So this is what you do with this model. And I think the price difference, it might have been about £10 back in the day. So it was certainly worth, you know, going, going and spending a little bit more to get the auto cord rewind. The bag check indicator, you know, you could do without that really. But the auto cord rewind, far more useful feature to have. But it's, this is, you get the idea, look, you do this sort of thing. It sort, sort of works, doesn't it, sort of. So that's the outside of the cleaner. One thing I'll just point out. Now you see here, there, now you see that shape. Can we see it on the camera? There. Now that is the same shape as the power takeoff socket fitted to quite a few Hoover cylinder cleaners, including the compacts. Now what I did with this back in the day when I had one of these from you, I think I had a scrap compact, or no, probably more than likely I purchased the socket because back in the day you could buy a lot of parts still for these cleaners well obviously it was new and the compacts were weren't too old so what i did i actually fitted a power takeoff socket to this and used the hose and the power nozzle for my hoover compact electronic total system the one with the turbo 300 head so can you imagine what this was like with a lovely great big turbo no, no motorized power head it was a very light machine easy to maneuver but it had the turbo 300 power head on the end and I, I think I remember selling that to my uh, one of my aunties who lived in the same village I did what a fool I was to get rid of it but it, the fates have smiled on me the heavens have said yes you can have another galaxy but this is all you get for now maybe I'll get another one who knows I'm so grateful to to have found thanks to trawling eBay most of my life finding another one you know it's not the one i would have wanted but it's a galaxy and i'm not going to moan about it this is the translucent hood <laughs> looking a lot better than it did when i first opened it i can assure you that was quite dusty because a lot, obviously this hood forms part of the bag housing so that will get covered in dust especially using these pretty poor bags now this is a, a generic Part. it's not the genuine bag I don't think you can still buy bags for the galaxy in fact I've ordered some I, I think possibly you can get fleece bags for this but they're not available in the UK I'd have to import it from uh, from Europe not sure if that's the original it could be the original bag slide it, it feels it feels like a Hoover original one so that's that's all you've got reusable bags for this I have got uh, a pack of filters coming. Someone on eBay was selling them. So this filter here, the pre-motor filter will be replaced. C can be washed, but I've got a couple coming. So I'll replace that. Behind here is the motor, but you can see the shape here. The motor is stood upright. It's not on the side. You can see the, the, the fan blades will be just in there. I think the motor is, is the correct way up. It's not... Uh, fan down like some cleaners 
it's pretty easy to get into I think I do need a star shaped uh, bit but I think I managed to unscrew these with a regular screwdriver back in the day so there are one two three four screws there and I think I have to remove the handle yes the handle comes off and then this cover plate comes off I think there might be another screw under there and there might be another screw underneath the uh, cable hook but I do I, it does all come apart fairly easily so obviously look it's all dirty in there so I do want to take it apart just to clean all this properly but also what I need to do because it does have an exhaust diffuser not a filter it's a diffuser this is the exhaust vent at the back that will need replacing it's hard to see but it's just a black very coarse mesh I'll be able to get something if I haven't got something in stock because it's quite a long uh, size filter so I don't want to have to put two pieces in there so as parts for this will be virtually non-existent I've al already looked as that I can get bags and filters but that's about it really so yeah I'm going to replace that it might start and when I turn this on bits of it might start coming out the back because they do seem to perish that particular type of filter not just in hoover cleaners but uh, I've had them perish in Electrolux machines as well so I think that's it it's a pretty simple little cleaner but it was a bit different when it was launched as I say it's 89 or 90 the first brochure I remember seeing this in was from from 1990 so but it didn't run for a long period of time these machines they, they you know they were advertised on TV in fact if you check my channel you'll find the English and German um, version TV commercial it's the same commercial but obviously the German one has a German narrator so there's the hose she is pretty maneuverable probably as maneuverable actually as a constellation now then okay so time to plug galaxy in we know which is off and which is on quite easily with this orange uh, orange pink switch because that's off and that's on so I know it's come from someone who retails vacuums and fixes them but still I'm gonna <laughs> put it to one side as far away as I can get pretty short cable on this it's gonna need uh, yeah oh dear that is very short okay let's plug her in okay then here goes let's hope the motor sounds okay oh dear <laughs> the motor doesn't sound anything because it's not working and it is in the on position now I'm going to turn it into the off position I'm sure off is yes off is the zero all right let's try again I wasn't expecting it not to work that is odd you'd think you'd think the seller would have checked wouldn't you eh you certainly would have thought the seller would have checked that that works okay well I'm just gonna have a quick look at the plug I mean it could do in I mean it's probably age appropriate but that's a bit manky that plug I'll just check the fuse well as you can see the plug is wired up correctly but I have put a new fuse in from an appliance that I know works so we'll try again okay then let's uh, try it again I, I don't have high hopes that it's just the fuse but here goes still doesn't work let's just try the switch again no could be a simple thing could be the suppressor has melted inside perhaps so unfortunately I can't show you this going and I am going to contact the seller and ask him did you actually turn it on before you sent it because it might have worked where you were but it certainly doesn't work now if he wants to watch this video I haven't tampered with this <laughs> so I think I'll have to end the video for now I'm gonna to have to open it up anyway it might be I don't know 
I don't know how these things happen, but there could be a wire that has somehow managed to work its way loose. There could be a little family of mice inside here who've, who've had a little bit of a chew on the wires. I don't know. Could just be the switch. Now the switch underneath could be a pretty standard, could be a pure power type switch under that. Could be the switch. But I can't, um, I'm not going into too much detail. Time's moving on here and I need to clear up. But this will do, for, <laughs> this will have to do for now, I'm afraid, because it's not working. Gonna have to open it up sooner than I thought, but I'm just going to contact the seller. Obviously, I don't want to send this back. You know, a broken one is better than none at all in my book. But, <sighs> Oh, it just means I've got to go through the process of complaining and I hate doing that but you know if you sell something on eBay folks make sure it works in fact I'll it doesn't say it, I'm sure the listing didn't say it didn't work the listing mainly went on about how it was brought in um, because the tubes had broken and um, obviously he didn't have the correct tube so gay he's obviously swapped the whole thing I'm pretty sure this never came unless the later versions did I don't know but I'm pretty sure they never came certainly the models I had never came with this style of handle never came with tubes I know the tubes were replaced because he sent them you know in the original packaging and definitely wouldn't have had this head so I think yeah I think what the seller I don't know if the seller is mistaken or um I don't think I don't it wouldn't make sense for a seller on eBay to deliberately mislead because they always get found out don't they you always get found out anyway I'm still pleased I've got a galaxy still pleased to have this little machine Ble I'll be even pleased if that's a word I'll be more pleased if I can get this working I'm pretty sure I can it's dead it's not the fuse that's always the first thing I'd check I'd have to check the continuity to see if there's a break anywhere in the cable that's possible that that's one thing I didn't do I will do it just just to see I'm going to jiggle it about a bit near where it enters the machine because if there is a break in the cable that's normally where it happens rather than the plug end it normally happens at the cleaner end okay so it's off there's nothing wrong with this socket either because I've just unplugged a working appliance from it so Don't you blow, don't you blow up on me. No, dead as a dodo. Dead as a dodo. So, sorry about that folks. She is deceased, but hopefully I will breathe new life into this lovely little vacuum cleaner and you'll see her again all cleaned up and fully operational fingers crossed well folks i'm back sooner than i thought i was about to pack away all my lights and equipment and thought well i'll just have a quick look i've already contacted the seller and said it was dead on arrival i've undone the one two three four screws inside here i've taken the handle off which requires one screw but i believe to get the top off it's not going to come. There's no screw underneath here. Oh, what's that bit? So I'm assuming the screw will be underneath the uh, cord hook here. So I'm not sure how to get that off without breaking it. It's gonna be very tricky. I'm pretty sure that's where the, the fifth screw will be located. But anyway, I'd still want to open it in order to give it a good clean. But once the handle is off, you can lever out the panel and look what I found when I leave it out the panel. I mean, how does that happen? I'm not really sure. These contacts need a bit of a clean. I've got some contact cleaner, but for now, I'm just going to see, can it be that simple? Obviously it would not switch on with one of these contacts loose. How it was loose, I do not know, but I, somehow suspect that the seller didn't check it I can't see how that would have worked loose in transit I really can't um, but the seller said it works great I'll check the listing the seller also said it was very clean 
the seller said. Very clean. Well, maybe <laughs> he thinks that's clean. I certainly don't think that's very clean. Did have a new bag in it, obviously, but you know, it wasn't very clean. Right, I'm just going to pop the panel back. I'm not going to bother putting the handle back for now. We'll just do the old switch on. The switcheroonie, shall we? And see, let's pop the bag in. We will see if the Hoover Galaxy will now work. Obviously, no, yes, that's not going to fit very well because oh, it'll still go on. It doesn't really need the handle for it to work. Right, that is the on position. Let's plug her in and try her one more time. Okay, well, the good news is, as you could hear, the machine powers up. The bad news is, there is quite an electrical burning smell. Uh, within, you know, the time period that that was on, I can smell electrically burning. So whether it's the motor that's about to go kaput or perhaps the suppressor is about to blow. I don't know, but anyway, I'm gonna turn it on again. You explode on me. Okay, well, it might be just... It doesn't smell so bad now. But at least now the Galaxy does work. So that's good. I'm not going to do any more with this today. I'm just going to do the screws back up. And pop her away for another day. Now, if you can tell me, any of you with experience of this cleaner. There won't be many of you with experience of this. I suspect it is, but do you think I'm going to find the screw I need underneath this cord hook? And if I do, how do I take that cord hook without snapping anything? Because that will just be a push fit. It'll just, uh, the factory that will just assemble that and it will be, you know, it'll have a plastic sort of uh, plug. I assume in the middle of that and when you put it into the hole it will stay there so that this sort of thing is very hard to get off without breaking it but without breaking the little lugs on the thing that actually holds that in position so I don't know what I'll be doing with that but we'll see what the seller says anyway I will tell the seller well I have managed to get it working it was the switch but I can't see that he checked it. If he if he checked it before he posted it, surely he would have known. But anyway, it's you know no harm done. Normally, when a vacuum is dead, I prefer to find it. I prefer it when a vacuum is completely dead than one that sounds awful, because you have more hope when a vacuum is dead. Because if it's completely dead and doesn't power up at all. You can't see what I'm doing. Just putting the screws back in. Um, yes, a dead vacuum can often be easier to fix. It can be something as simple as the fuse blowing, but then again, you think, why did the fuse blow? But it could also be a problem with the continuity. It could be a problem with the cable. Normally, that's fairly easy to fix. But when I plug in a vacuum, as I have done on many occasions on this channel, and the motor has sounded extremely rough, slow running, noisy, then you have more serious problems to deal with. But as you saw in this case, it was a very, very simple fix. Seems very odd though that um, that wire managed to work itself loose. So that's what my suggestion, if you have a dead vacuum, first thing to check, is the fuse but also well very first thing you can check check it in another socket because you never know your socket might be faulty plug something into that socket a lamp or something to check the sockets working or move 
the vacuum and plug that into another socket that you know is working. So that's the first thing. Then replace the fuse. If you can't check it, if you don't have a fuse checker or a continuity checker, replace the fuse with a fuse you know works. Then you start have to diagnose, then the switch would be the next thing I'd check as I just did with that. You can check the cable of course. So that's all screwed back together. I'm just going to put the whole thing back together. So this was just one screw under here for the handle. And as you saw that, that just lifts out. You have to leave it out or just turn the machine upside down. It normally drops out. And let me just take the screw out. I put the, I put the, oops, I put the screw in there for safekeeping. Is this magnetic? Oh, I don't think it is, or is it? Oh. Should have got my long nose pliers to put the screw in position. It's a bit difficult with this. Ooh, hang on. Trying to keep it so you can see what I'm doing, but I can't see what I'm doing, see? I'll be no good on Blue Peter. They had to do everything back to front, didn't they? To show what they're doing. Well, I wonder if they still do that on Blue. I haven't, I haven't watched Blue Peter in many a year. I'm too old for Blue Peter, but it's not on. It's not on BBC One anymore. I'm sure it's not like the program I used to watch. That's oh. right. Well, you get the gist, don't you? It's a bit difficult to get that in. Oh, there it's because I've not put it in. Make sure the handle's in properly, folks. Before any screwing is commenced, before you commence screwing, should I say? Before you commence screwing, make sure you've lined up the hole. That does sound a bit rude, but you know what I mean. That's, that screw head is a little bit smaller, I think. I must make sure it goes in a bit more than it is because that's what I lift the cleaner from. And if I forget I've not put the screw in properly, I could be in for a little bit of breakage and I won't be happy. Oh, that'll, that'll do, that's in, that's in um, okay for now. So this is going to be a little project for me. I will go on the interweb and just see if there's any parts available from this, apart from the parts I've managed to get, you never know. <laughs> Crikey, if I could find a new hood, wouldn't that be good? A new anything, really, I'd buy it. But anyway, there we go. Bit of a happier ending than uh, we originally were going to have with this cleaner. At least you saw it switched on. But you will see this again afterwards see what that seller says i mean if the seller comes back to me i will say well i did manage to get it working obviously the seller will not see that anyway if he ever watches this video i suspect he won't but you know i don't put claims into ebay unless it's genuine i don't try and con people if i receive something that's not as described or as faulty i will let the seller know and try we'll try and sort something out as I've said in the past, a lot of the time I just let s certain things slide. I just, you know, accept it. But, you know, if it's very misdescribed or broken, then I'm, obviously I'm going to complain about it. And why wouldn't I? I had a comment from somebody on my Facebook page. I'm on Facebook and Instagram, by the way, if you didn't know. Somebody here said on my Facebook page that they liked it when I have a, a rage. I don't go into a rage. I haven't been into a rage on YouTube, I don't think ever. I've got uh, a bit upset and disappointed, but uh, I don't I do not do rages. You've never seen me in a rage. Uh, not many people have, and the people that have have never forgotten it. <laughs> but I don't tend to get upset. It's a vacuum, for goodness sake. I don't care. You know, I really don't. Um, I'm just pleased to have a Hoover Galaxy. It does work now. It does need a bit of work, but it's a labor of love and I will restore this a little bit better. It's already better than it was when I got it out of the box, but it will be even better when she's had a good clean out inside and outside. Every mark will be removed that I can remove and she'll be polished within an inch of her life. So thanks for watching. Thanks again. See you all soon. Bye for now. This is the Galaxy from Hoover. Possibly the finest invention since, well, the vacuum cleaner. It has five wheels, so it corners like Nigel Mansell.
It's extremely light, which makes life much less of a drag. And with up to a thousand watts of power, it'll sweep you off your feet. The Galaxy from under 80 pounds and with a five-year parts guarantee. Another product of our experience.